Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Time Yet. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Good afternoon, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. Welcome to subscribers. We're here doing a general, vir a general reading for Virgo. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the second half of June, 2022. Happy Father's Day out there, people. Hope you're having a great day. I keep seeing new love for you, Virgo. This Ace of Cups wants to come out. Let's see, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Okay, we have the Sun card. So you guys are very happy, abundant at this time. Um, You're shining, you're glowing. Um, this is prosperity, abundance. This is universe, whoever you pray to has your back. You're shining though. You're shining very bright. Could be dealing with a Leo. Um, I see you're seeing things very clearly now. You're looking good too. You are looking good, Virgo. What else we got for Virgo as overall energies? That's a nice card to have. Hangman, observing. This is getting a different perspective on things. This is being enlightened too. And you got the sun card here. Something could be at a standstill, but something is going, at the end of the day, something is going to be moving here for you in a very positive way. Ooh, the world card, a new beginning. And embrace this new beginning. You've ended a cycle successfully and there's something new on the horizon for you. Helpless and hopeless. This is the eight of swords. Someone here is feeling mentally stuck and I don't think it's your energy. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. But someone here is feeling mentally stuck, Virgo. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We have the Three of Cups. Someone here wants to re, re wants to reunite with you. You could be celebrating with your friends. This is share the love. You could be out celebrating. But someone here wants to come back together with you. I see you are doing your own thing right now. You're happy. You've ended something. And this is like finally. Finally, something is over, but someone is feeling mentally stuck about this situation. Someone is feeling mentally stuck. Give me some messages of love for Virgo, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Yeah, someone has regrets here for I mean someone is feeling real regretful this could be someone that you have a very strong connection with someone you have children with what else you have for Virgo guides balance but you see how it came out in the reverse one person is given too much in this situ in this relationship so something could have been you know unbalanced here but in the reverse i see that you are balanced because you let something go here you have let something go so you are balanced you let a relationship go possibly because someone here has regret someone's feeling mentally stuck integrity does this situation align with your values and morals? And it was like a no and a no and a no. So you let somebody go here. Mm -hmm. You've definitely been enlightened. And you have a lot of support around you. Whoever you pray to is definitely supporting you. Lean on your inner circle during this time. And we have trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. Trust yourself that you did the right thing here. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. Trust that you did the right thing. 
And whatever it is that you do, you were guided to do whatever it was. You ended something. Something was not moving. Um, wow. Let's see. What is the situation here with Virgo? What is the situation here with Virgo? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What is the situation here with Virgo? What's the situation? Yeah, you've been awakened about something. You've been awakened about something and you had to let something go. Eight of Swords again. Definitely dealing with an air sign that is like really having a hard time. They're having a hard time, not you, Virgo. They are. Someone here definitely could have been in their ego, illusions, dependency, materialism. Hmm. We have the hermit. This is your energy. You had to let something go. Because someone was not... Someone was not on the same page as you was. Period. The queen of fire. You could have been dealing with a Leo, Sadra, and Aries that was very passionately driven, very aggressive. You got awakening. This is the hangman too. Observing. See, this person has been awakened. Something has come to the light. Universe has gave, given someone here some clarity. And you have it again, awakening, pause, perspective, selflessness. And we have the seven of pinnacles towards Virgo Capricorn. This is investment, assessment, and being patient to see if something is going to come to fruition. Obviously, something did not that you were investing in because you let it go. You have let something go. But someone is definitely still holding on with the Four of Pentacles being here. Someone is trying to control the situation, but mm, that's not happening. So you're avoiding or someone is avoiding a decision here with the two of swords. Someone is very indecisive. Somebody possibly had a, a decision or choices. Someone here had choices and, and didn't and was not willing to make a decision. But somebody made a decision and, and stepped away from the situation. That's just point blank period. <coughs> point blank period. Why is the ego card here, guys? Why is the ego card here? We have the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is, you know, someone having one foot in, one foot out. Yup. Not really balancing themselves out. But this is a healing card. So you are going through some type of healing here. Why is the star card here with the ego card? The two of pentacles. Someone here was not balanced. Someone was possibly juggling two people also. This could have been you, Virgo, or the person that you was dealing with. Why is the two of pentacles here? The eight of swords three times here. Wow. Someone here is possibly in jail. Eight of swords three times. Somebody's possibly in jail. Mm, there's the Empress, the Nine of Swords. Someone is definitely in a mental prison. Mm-hmm, about a new beginning, possibly with you, Virgo. Could be your Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine, or someone that you have a very strong spiritual connection with. Someone here is possibly, I mean, having a nervous breakdown. We got the Eight of Swords here three times, come on. When I say somebody is in their mentals, like, big time, they are losing it. Depression. Not eating. They're not sleeping. Someone really fucked up here. Period. Big time. Someone messed up big time here. And they know it. Because you've ended something. You're gone. You are gone. I'm going to put these back in. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? Hmm. The Page of Cups. 
Why is the hermit here? Either you guys have started something new, because I do see I did see new love here for you. Someone definitely wants to come in and apologize. But it's a little apology. And it, and, and and if is the, are they sincere? He has a little stinky fish up in here. How long has he been holding that fish? Do you know if you've been holding something like that for a long period of time, how it smells? Something is fishy here. Something does not smell right. And you probably figured that out, Virgo. Something was not smelling right to you. Mm-hmm. Because now somebody got regrets. And they feel left out. They going through depression. They got they have a mental they having a mental breakdown. Somebody here is a yeah, cause somebody here had options. And they were exploring their options. Mm-hmm. And you figured that out. Yep. Somebody here was confused and thought they was all of that in their ego, all of that in the bag of chips, and <laughs> they done figured out that shit is not do not pop with you. Mm-mm. You moved on. Six of swords. Why is the queen of wands here? Yeah, this person regrets being out there having a side piece. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They regret that. They regret it. Ain't nothing you can do about it now because love don't live here no more. It is not here. It is not here. You have you have left the building, Virgo. Period. Why is the five of pentacles here? Now they regret what they doing, what they was doing. Why is the Ace of Cups, yep, they was being manipulative with the Five of Swords. And you want an engagement with this person. You wanted something long term with this person is what I'm hearing. But you've been awakened now that you was possibly just dealing with uh, F-boy or F-girl. Mm-hmm. Somebody that was for the streets. You found out that you was dealing with somebody for the streets. Period. Period. And you turned your back. Three of Wands. Why is awakening here? Why is awakening here? Mm. Somebody has been awakened and now they want to come in possibly with some drama. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Y'all definitely dealing with an air sign that's losing it. Yeah, they got this passion for you too. Now they want to take action. But I don't know how that's going to work out. We got the Queen of Wands here twice. The Queen of Wands is here twice. And I saw the Empress. Who is this Queen of Wands? Somebody that, that now feels that you emotionally fulfill them. They was out there in those streets and now they, they, could, they can't find that love in those streets. Now they know that they had the love all the time at home. Not no more. Now they want to start some shit with you. They rushing in. They rushing in because they know that you emotionally fulfill them with this Ten of Cups. Why is the seven of pentacles? And you was investing in this person. You were definitely investing in this person in a possibly in a family situation. Either you had kids or they had kids or both of y'all had kids. But you was there. You was investing. And you have the queen, king, queen, of, queen of swords. You're not investing no more. You cut that shit off. You ain't investing nothing in this person. Why is the queen of swords here? Mm -hmm. And you dealing with this person from the heart. Somebody's about to is getting karma. With justice being here. Yeah, that's 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 they gonna be they karma. You not going back to them. You cutting them off and with everything. Justice is here. Things are gonna be balanced for you, Virgo. Well, Virgo, this is your person and this is how they're feeling. Why is the four pentacles? They damn sure holding on for life. For dear life. They don't wanna move on. Look. They don't wanna move on. Six of swords in the reverse. And then we have the higher font here in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Somebody is not giving no commitments on none of this. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Why is the Six of Swords in the high font in the reverse? Someone is not. Mm -hmm. Ace of Wands in the reverse. There's not going to be no new, no new beginning here with this person. This person wants judgment. This person wants a second chance. But you calling judgment on this situation. Mm -hmm. Somebody here is definitely getting karma. Judgment and justice, definitely. Someone's really going through their karma right now, period. Mm-hmm. You focus on your money right now. Balancing, you're very stable. Why is the two of swords here for Virgo? The temperance card here, and this is... Mm -mm -mm. You're getting yourself balanced. You're getting yourself balanced. 
You're being patient. You're being divinely guided right now. Yep. Because that other person is going through it. Whoever cheated on you is going through it. And Virgo, this is you. This is you or the person that you're dealing with. Last temperance here. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Some of y'all could have new love. But this person wants a second chance with you. Or are you deciding to give this person a second chance? Why is the Ace of Cups here with temperance? Because you do love this person. I can say that. You do love this person. The Four of Pentacles, Taurus. Are you still holding on to somebody? There's some quick, fast communication coming in here. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all could be doing some traveling. But something is about to move quickly. Or maybe you're moving quickly to a new love. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're moving quickly to a new love. You're starting something new. Some of y'all starting something new. Mm -hmm. You're being very strong. You're controlling your emotions. You're listening to your intuition. But you're starting something very quickly here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's get some. Let me see. Give me some information on Virgo's person. Give me some information on Virgo's person. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Give me some information on Virgo's person. Information on Virgo's person. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting. Want to date. This is y'all dealing with somebody else. This is y'all dealing with a new person. They like you. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Your person is feeling abandoned. Give me some information on Virgo's person. There's definitely a breakup. Mm. They watching your photos. Whoever you was dealing with, you was dealing with a snake. This is competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder. The other woman. Someone here had another person. Your person had another person. Now they're looking at your photos. They're feeling abandoned. Huh. They want to date you. They want to get back with you, period. Lightning at the bottom of the deck. Sudden change, shocking news, surprising epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Hmm. What that about? Yeah, they want to talk. They want to talk to you. They definitely want to talk to you. What's going to be the outcome here? Let's get the cards. Again. Give me an outcome here. For Virgo. What is the outcome for Virgo? God angels. Ancestors, Holy Spirit. What's the outcome? What is the outcome for Virgo? What's the outcome for Virgo? What's the outcome for Virgo? What's the outcome? We have seven of wands. You're protecting yourself. You got boundaries. You possibly block this person. What's the outcome? Or you're going to. But you got boundaries. You're not. You're standing your ground. I don't see you taking somebody back. The night of air. This is um, intellectual, determined, and motivated. This is you definitely speaking your truth. Or someone is rushing in here speaking the truth, but you're very guarded against it. You're very guarded against it. And, if, and, and, and are they giving you the whole truth? Are they giving you the whole truth? The Six of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. A windfall. Could be getting a windfall of money. But this is, you know, somebody wanting to say, now I want to equally give in this situation. There's some good news coming in here. Mm-hmm. Possibly about a new creative situation. We've got the Wheel of Fortune here. Something is definitely going in your favor. But with the Wheel of Fortune, karma is definitely being dealt. This is luck. 
progress. This is change. Big change is coming in. Something is definitely going in your favor. We got the two of cups here. Partnership, commitment, possibly a reconciliation here. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Some of y'all might be reconciling with this person because you are in love with them. Two of cups. Did I see the lovers? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, this is what I have for you, Virgo. So it's a possibility y'all gonna let somebody back in, but you better be careful and you better use your intuition. All right, this is what I have for you. If you resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.